Hey, I'm Matthew with The Fine Press, and you're watching Creative People Are Weird. Tell me, can you imagine uh, you want a new dress or a new suit, uh, whichever floats your boat, and you decide to go to a seamstress or a tailor. In fact, you decide to go to three seamstresses or three tailors, and uh, you tell them what you want, you go through their fabric selection, you pick some fabrics, you get measured, they start working on it, you go to fittings, you get all the way to the end and you say, you know what, truth is I only wanted one dress or suit and um, I wasn't really planning on buying the other ones and in fact that's the one I like. So thank you guys for your work but uh, I'm going to pay for that one and head out the door. Uh, I can't imagine doing that. Yet yeah, that's something that happens all the time in the creative community in the form of what we call spec work. Now uh, spec is short for speculative and I'm totally aware of the fact that speculative is a word that has existed in the English language before being a part of the phrase spec work. So the kind of spec work I'm talking about tends to manifest itself in one of two ways. Um, one is that a company may have an idea of what they want or need and they hire or they ask several firms or creatives to start working on that so that they can get a better idea in their own head of what they want, what, what it looks like, and who can do it for them. Um, ultimately, they don't have the knowledge or vision to hire one company and trust them through the process. So instead, they ask several to do the work, and then they pick the one they like and they pay for it, much like our custom suit or dress scenario. The other is one that I, we used to see a lot in um, nonprofits and in community work and and we're seeing it all over corporate America now and it's uh, it, it often manifests itself as the design competition the logo competition hey make a new logo for us and the, we'll pick the one we like best and we'll give you credit for it maybe we'll pay you for it if you're lucky um, and uh, so yesterday morning we were trying to record Creative People Are Weird and got into a conversation with several people about spec work and frankly it got me second guessing myself and, and, and why I wanted to talk about this um, and then I slept on it and I realized nope I still feel the same way and it's this I don't believe that it's ever okay for a company to demand that a creative work for free for them now let me rephrase that I don't think it's ever okay to demand that anyone work for free for you, creatives included. Uh, creatives, if you feel it's appropriate to work for free for someone, by all means do it. I do it uh, sometimes for friends, sometimes I do it because it's a job that I really want to work on because it's exciting and there's not a lot of budget so we'll do discounts or trades or whatever. I mean, there are options available and I have no problem with creatives working for free if, if they're comfortable with it. I have a real problem with companies or people who demand that people work for free and the thing is they may be paying for the end result from the person whose work they like or the company whose work they like. But if the other people are working for free, uh, then that's some shady junk going on there and it's not cool. Um, but here's the thing. I think a part of the reason that happens is because our clients aren't always, um, haven't been given the tools to make good decisions. And uh, it can feel like you're kind of lost making those decisions. I, I have a friend who yesterday mentioned that he uses 99designs and he sees that people use it with frequency because it's hard to figure out where to turn to for a designer for a logo or for someone to code a website for them. You just, you may not even know what to call the person who does that in order to Google them, you know? Um, and so that's why as creatives, it's incumbent upon the creative community that we do a better job of educating the people around us about what we do and why we do it. And if you're planning on hiring someone to do creative work for you, um, there are resources out there. You know, Google, I need A, and start to see what shows up. And probably the first three or four results are gonna be really highly SEO'd uh, junk. But somewhere on that first page, you're gonna start to see some educational stuff that'll help you figure out where to go next and what to do. Um, but frankly, there's not enough of it. So creatives, get off your butts. Do more to teach people your value. You are not a commodity. 
don't act like one. Um, I really think it's shady stuff to demand that people work for free. Now, I, I heard uh, a few months ago um, of a scenario that I thought was actually kind of cool where uh, a certain king of adult beverages wanted uh, music for a commercial. And so they didn't necessarily know what they wanted and they, they didn't have a particular company in mind. So what they did was paid a reasonable price to several companies to come in and create music for them and then paid crazy good money to the company whose work they liked the most because they were going to make a lot of money off of that commercial and that person got to share in it. But everyone was compensated fairly for having done the work. That's a totally different scene. I think that's actually a pretty cool way to do things. Um, but it's not cool to demand that people work for free. Uh, spec work, it ain't cool. There's a website called no spec. I think it's .com. I'll put it, uh, I'll put a link to it so you can see that. Uh, I'm Matthew with a fine press. This is creative. People are weird. I want to know what you think. Uh, are you down with spec work? Do you hate it? Uh, have you done it? What have your experiences been? Uh, comment, email, do all those fun things. Share it with somebody you know today. Uh, I will be back next Thursday with another installment of Creative People Are Weird. Until then, have an awesome week. Thanks.